bread recalled after rat remains found inside loaves. Loaves of bread have been recalled from shelves in Japan after they were found to contain the remains of a rat. Production of the bread in Tokyo has been halted after parts of a small animal were found by at least two people. Pasco Shikishima Corp, which produces the bread, said 104,000 packages have been recalled as it apologized and promised compensation. A company representative told it was a small black rat which was found in the bread. No customers were reported to have fallen ill as a result of ingesting the contaminated bread, the company added. We deeply apologize for the serious inconvenience and trouble this has caused to our customers, suppliers, and other concerned parties, they said. Pasco added in a separate statement that, we will do our utmost to strengthen our quality controls so that this will never happen again. We ask for your understanding and your cooperation. Japanese media reports said at least two people who bought the bread in the Gunma Prefecture, northwest of Tokyo, complained to the company about finding a rodent in the bread. The company, based in Nagoya City, central Japan, also makes rolls, bagels, and muffins. The bread had been sold in various areas, including Ibaraki, Niigata, Kanagawa, Fukushima, Aomori, and Tokyo, according to PASCO. Japan boasts relatively high food safety standards, but the nation has been rocked by food woes recently, including 1,000 schoolchildren sickened by milk and two people who got sick after eating steak at a restaurant, both earlier this month. Widespread food poisoning from a health supplement product broke out in March and killed five people. <coughs> Miss Teen USA gives up title days after Miss USA resigned. Miss Teen USA has given up her crown just two days after Miss USA resigned to prioritize her mental health. Uma Sofia Srivastava, 17-year-old, said she was stepping down from the role because her personal values no longer fully align with the direction of the organization. Posting on Instagram, she said, I am grateful for all the support from my family, my state directors, my sister queens, and the fans who have cheered me on since I won my state title. I will always look back on my time as Miss NJ Teen USA fondly and the experience of representing my state as a first generation Mexican Indian American at the national level was fulfilling in itself. She was crowned in September 2023. Her announcement came after Miss USA Noelia Voigt said she was relinquishing her title with a message urging people to look after their mental health. Uma Sofia vowed to continue her work advocating for education and acceptance. She has written a children's book called The White Jaguar, which led to working with charities, and she said this work had always been her true purpose. She said she was looking forward to finishing high school and applying for university. The pageant said it was reviewing plans for the transition of responsibilities to a successor. Work is now taking place to replace both Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. On Monday, 24-year-old Ms. Voigt said her journey as Miss USA has been incredibly meaningful but she had made the tough decision to resign. She said, My hope is that I continue to inspire others to remain steadfast, prioritize your mental health, advocate for yourself and others by using your voice, and never be afraid of what the future holds, even if it feels uncertain. <laughs> Justin and Haley Bieber announced they are expecting first child. Justin and Haley Bieber have announced they are expecting their first child. Haley, the 27-year-old model, posted a video and a series of photos on Instagram showing off her baby bump. Justin, 30-year-old, is also in the social media footage and has shared his wife's post. It racked up more than 1.8 million likes in less than an hour. The announcement did not include a caption, with Haley simply tagging her husband in the post. The couple tied the knot in a secret ceremony in New York in 2018. The Instagram footage shows Haley in a white lace dress during an apparent vow renewal held in a field. Kendall and Kylie Jenner were among the celebrities, congratulating the couple in the comments of Haley's social media post. US reality star and entrepreneur Kim Kardashian, model Gigi Hadid, and TV personality Chrissy Teigen also commented with their warm wishes. 
Haley is the daughter of actor Stephen Baldwin and niece of actors Alec William and Daniel Baldwin. While Justin was discovered as a singer online aged 13 and went on to become a pop sensation with his hits, including Baby, Love Me, and Yummy. The Canadian superstar was forced to cancel the remaining dates of his Justice World Tour last year amid his ongoing recovery from Ramsey Hunt syndrome, a condition that can cause facial paralysis. He unexpectedly stepped on stage at Coachella last month to perform the 2020 hit single Essence, alongside Wizkid, during a set by Nigerian Star Thames. China anger, as USS missile destroyer sails through Taiwan Strait. A US warship has sailed through the Taiwan Strait, prompting an angry response from China. The US Navy said the USS Halsey conducted a routine Taiwan Strait transit on Wednesday through waters where high seas freedoms of navigation and overflight apply in accordance with international law. The guided missile destroyer passed through a corridor beyond the territorial sea of any coastal state, said a statement by the Navy's 7th Fleet. Halsey's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the United States' commitment to upholding freedom of navigation for all nations as a principle. No member of the international community should be intimidated or coerced into giving up their rights and freedoms. The United States military flies, sails, and operates anywhere international law allows, it said. Taiwan's defense ministry said its forces had monitored the situation and observed nothing unusual. But China's military described the move as public hype and said it had sent naval and aerial forces to monitor and warn the ship and deal with it in accordance with the law and regulations. Taiwan is a democratic, self-governing island that China sees as its own and fears over a possible invasion have persisted for years. China also claims jurisdiction over the strait which is about 100 miles wide at its narrowest point, but the U.S. and Taiwan say it's international waters. American warships and occasionally U.S. Navy aircraft pass through or over the waterway about once a month. The latest sailing comes less than two weeks before Taiwan's new president takes office. President-elect William Lai ching tae who Beijing says is a dangerous separatist, will be inaugurated on the 20th of May. His Democratic Progressive Party favors Taiwan's de facto independent status, maintaining strong unofficial relations with the U.S. and other major nations. <laughs> Zoo accused of painting dogs black and white to fool visitors into seeing pandas. A Chinese zoo has been accused of painting dogs black and white in a bid to fool zoo visitors into seeing pandas. Social media posts showed Taizhou Zoo unveiled a new exhibition featuring panda dogs on the 1st of May. Visitors were also charged two seventy-eight dollars to see the new attraction. But those who traveled to the zoo in Jiangsu province discovered the animals were actually Chow Chows, a dog breed known for its thick double coat of fur from northern China, which were dyed to resemble pandas. According to Chinese state media outlet The Global Times, lawyers said, Inevitably, the visitors will feel disappointed and deceived upon discovering the truth about the exhibit. But a worker at the zoo denied accusations of false advertising. This is just a new display we offer to visitors. We are not charging extra. The wording featuring chow chow dogs is correct and exactly describes what they are, so we are not cheating our visitors. A zoo spokesperson also defended the panda exhibit by saying, people also dye their hair. Natural dye can be used on dogs if they have long fur. There are no panda bears at the zoo, and we wanted to do this as a result. It's not the first time a Chinese zoo has been accused of faking animals. In 2023, Hangzhou Zoo denied claims some of its bears were people in costumes. In July that year, a clip of a Malaysian sun bear named Angela walking on its hind legs went viral and sparked speculation that the animal was a human being in a badly fitting bear suit. Other Chinese zoos have been accused of trying to pass off dogs with dyed and cut fur as wolves or African cats. In 2010, a park in Zhengzhou, Henan province, bought four dyed chow chows and a golden retriever, dyed to resemble a tiger from a pet market in Sichuan as an attempt to attract visitors, Reuters reported local media as saying.
Gollum star to direct first of two. New Lord of the Rings films. The team behind the Lord of the Rings trilogy will work on two new films, Warner Bros. has announced. Peter Jackson, the mastermind behind the epic Oscar-winning films released in 2001, 2002, and 2006, will produce the films alongside Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens. Andy Serkis, known for playing Gollum in the original trilogy based on J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy novels set in the world of Middle-earth, will again star as the character and direct the first of the new movies, Lord of the Rings, The Hunt for Gollum. In a statement sure to excite fans, Circus used Gollum's catchphrase, saying, Yes, precious. He added, The time has come once more to venture into the unknown with my dear friends, the extraordinary and incomparable guardians of Middle-earth, Peter, Fran, and Philippa. The producing team will be involved every step of the way in the new venture, Warner Bros. Discovery's CEO, David Zaslav, said. Warner Bros. had first announced in 2023 that it was planning a number of new films set in the Lord of the Rings world. Jackson's original trilogy was followed by another based on Tolkien's prequel book, The Hobbit. The first new film focusing on Gollum is scheduled for release in 2026. Mr. Zaslav said it will explore storylines yet to be told. Jackson, Walsh, and Boyan said, it is an honor and a privilege to travel back to Middle Earth with our good friend and collaborator, Andy Serkis, who has unfinished business with that stinker, Gollum. As lifelong fans of Professor Tolkien's vast mythology, we are proud to be working with Mike DeLuca, Pam Abdi, and the entire team at Warner Bros. on another epic adventure. Jackson's Lord of the Rings films, which were shot simultaneously in Jackson's native New Zealand, won 17 Oscars. A separate animated Middle-earth movie set 200 years before the plot of The Hobbit and entitled The Lord of the Rings. The War of the Rohirrim will be out in December this year.